Hello guys, it's Shit Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. As for today, I actually wanted to record outside, but there are children like everywhere. It seems that they, they, they kind of have a they kind of have a lot of free time, even in school, so so yeah, they're just there running around, uh, wasting their energy. Well, I wouldn't say wasting, they're just getting around, fooling around. That's what children should do. Uh, but yeah, so I'm recording inside. As for this video, we have the review of the new Adrenaline Drivers, the 25.5.1, which now are WHQ well signed, meaning that we have the, um, the 25.3.1 drivers that were WHQL, the first ones for the 9070 XT and the 9070. Then we have the 25.3.2 optional, which are kind of certified inside AMD, but not with Microsoft. And then we have the 25.4.1 optional as well. And now we have another WHQ signed driver, 25.5.1. And as I say in all my videos, 25 is the year 2025, five is the month May, and one is the first revision in that same month, the first revision of May. And these drivers do bring some interesting things. They do bring a lot more support for FSR4, meaning that AMD is actually working pretty well on it. And FSR4 in some of these new games is actually quite nice. For example, the finals, one of those games where you people were asking for FSR4 because, to be honest, FSR 3.1 in that title is not bad, but it isn't great either. For example, using FSR4 performance with the finals compared to FSR 3.1 quality, FSR4 performance still delivers a bit better performance or at least a bit better stability. Not as many details in some scenarios, but in terms of shimmering, it still delivers way better stability, but we'll get there. But my question is, we'll get there where? Today's sponsor, dude. Today's video sponsor is GVG More, bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. So let's go into the release notes. Firstly, we start with highlights with new game support for Doom the Dark Ages, a game that will only be releasing next week, I believe, so AMD already has support for that game, which is great, and F1 2025. I don't really know if the game already released or not, but still a great new addition. I would like to see addition for, let's say, Claire Obscure or Claire Obscure Expedition 33 or Expedition so yeah, that would be great, but I guess that Doom and F125 are also great additions. Then we have new game support for AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 4, also known as FSR 4, with Ghost of Tsushima, Frostpunk 2, Everspace 2, Fort Solis, another great game, Warhammer 40,000 Dark Tide, The Finals, and Influx Redux. And by the way, if we're talking about Ghost of Tsushima, I can I can definitely see the difference. Especially, well, when we're talking about the character itself, we do have a bit more details somehow with FSR 3.1 in some case scenarios because FSR 4 does bring a softer image. And in terms of stability, I must say that FSR 3.1 in Ghost of Tsushima was one of the best implementations that I've ever seen of FSR 3.1, meaning that it was already very, very nice. Although FSR 4 can improve that, especially in areas where we have lots of particles, fire particles, or when we have transparency effects, like for example, the character scape moving. And in those scenarios, FSR 4 is just much better. For example, on the fire particles, FSR 4 does show the fire particles where FSR 3.1 just shows a lot of, well, pixels that don't look at all like particles. And in that case scenario, FSR 4 is just much, much better. But the finals with FSR 4 just looks much better. Going side by side in terms of quality mode, FSR 4 just looks much better in terms of stability. Even in the quality mode, FSR 3.1 in the finals will have some, some shimmering here and there, and there wouldn't be any stability whatsoever. But with FSR 4 in the quality mode, we have a lot, a lot of stability. But it gets much, much better when we're talking about performance mode versus performance mode, where FSR 3.1 is just a shimmering mess and FSR 4, although it has some shimmering to some level, it is way, way better. In terms of stability, I would even dare to say that FSR 4 performance is better, again, in terms of stability only, 
than FSR 3.1 quality. And that's how big of an improvement FSR 4 is in some case scenarios. But well, let's keep going. Expanded HyperRX support with HyperTune support for Marvel Spider-Man 2, Marvel Rivals, Grand Theft Auto 5 Enhanced Edition, which is great, Kingdom Come Deliverance and Path of Exile 2 and it is great to have HyperRx for Path of Exile 2 but I would really like to see FSR 4 in that game, it would be much better. Now we have expanded Vulcan extension support with Vulcan 1.4 support, sorry, and I believe this is here because of Doom the Dark Ages, because I'm pretty sure that the game will support something like DirectX 12 and Vulkan, and if you're playing with Vulkan, you need these Vulkan 1.4 support files, and I believe this is why they are in these drivers. Now we have fixed issues and improvements, with the first one being failure to detect integrated camera may be observed after driver installation using factory reset option on some Ryzen AI Max and Max Plus series products. Installation progress may persistently display 0% while installing AMD Chat with the AMD Software Adrenaline Edition user interface after upgrading to AMD Radeon RX 9000 series graphics products. System crash may be observed due to a memory leak when using SteamVR on some AMD Radeon graphics products such as the Radeon RX 9000 series. Users experiencing this issue are recommended to turn off motion smoothing in SteamVR settings. And I believe that motion smoothing is something like frame generation but for VR and this is, or at, at least it seems to be an issue just for the RX 9000 series. But from what I saw from some comments, it seems that basically nobody uses this, this option, the motion smoothing still, of course it should be working. Intermittent application crash or driver timeout may be observed while playing Metro Exodus Enhanced Edition. I played the game with AMD graphics and it was fine, but it, that was long ago, definitely. And the last fixed issue is intermittent application crash or driver timeout may be observed while loading Civilization 7 with anti-lag enabled. But again, not everything is cotton candy and unicorns, so let's go to the known issues. The first known issue is intermittent application crash or driver timeout may be observed while playing The Last of Us Part 2. Yes, how, as I was testing The Last of Us Part 2 actually I had a, a crash, system completely reboot and, and yeah, it is because of the drivers, because my system is stable. Uh, yeah, I just tested 50 games some time ago and several other things and the system is stable, so yeah, yeah. Stutter may be observed while playing games with some VR headsets at 80Hz or 90Hz refresh rate on some AMD Radeon graphics products such as the Radeon RX 7000 series and again, of course, users experiencing this issue are recommended to change the refresh rate as a temporary workaround. The thing is that this issue that we're seeing here with some VR headsets at 80 and 90Hz has been happening for like 2 or 3 months and this needs to be fixed ASAP people are kind of suffering with this, so AMD, just tr try to fix this, this is very important for some people. I know it is a niche, but yeah, it's still important. Intermittent system or application crash may be observed while playing Cyberpunk 2077, failure to launch may be observed for Battlefield 1 on Radeon RX 9000 series graphics cards products with the Ryzen 9 9950X integrated graphics, so if you're using a Ryzen 9 9950X and you're using its integrated graphics, uh, an RDNA 2 with two compute units I believe, plus the 9000 series, you might have issues in Battlefield 1, so if you're having issues, just disable the integrated graphics if you don't really need them. Intermittent failure to launch may be observed when AMD Software Adrenaline Edition user interface is launched from desktop context menu or system tray. Intermittent application crash or driver timeout may be observed while playing Monster Hunter Wilds with Raiden anti-lag and instant replay enabled, also a thing that has been happening for quite a while, AMD definitely needs to fix this. Artifacts or corruption may appear while playing Battlefield on Radeon RX 7000 series graphics products. Um, Battlefield may be the, the new one that will come out. Quality and performance selections may be reversed in the user interface for AMD Boost, AMD Radeon Boost, something that nobody uses or at least they shouldn't use. And the last one is stutter may be observed while playing Call of Duty Warzone Season 3, Verdant, Verdant, <laughs> Verdansk map on some AMD graphics products and this is actually one of the things that people have been complaining about and even though it isn't fixed, sadly, 
AMD acknowledges it, so it means that, of course, they are working on it in order to fix it, to fix it especially since they work uh, so close with the Call of Duty developers, I believe that the issue will be soon fixed, especially now that they know that the issue is an issue. And well, with the release notes read, what's about my experience with these drivers? Well, I tested these on the 7700 XT and the 9070 XT, and from my experience again, and this is only my experience, your experience might differ, that's what happens. Several different system configurations, different CPUs, different motherboards, different, different drivers, different Windows versions, there are so many variables. So this is my experience only, but I didn't have blue screens, black screens and so on. I only have one system shut down on The Last of Us, which I already said I did. And I have uh, Expedition 33 crashing, but that was because of FSR 4 mod, because everything else is working perfectly. In terms of performance, I noticed that in the finals, the performance tends to be a bit better, at least with the 9070 XT. In some cases, quite better, going from, let's say, 130 to 140 FPS, which is not that much, but it does make the difference. I mean, it's free performance. And I asked, if you're, if you're asking about FSR 4, yes, FSR 4 is a great addition, especially since AMD seems to be working quite well. Each driver version, they're bringing like three, four, five new games with FSR 4, which is great. Would be even better if they were able to kind of inject FSR 4 in the FSR 2 framework, meaning that older games with FSR 2 could enjoy FSR 4, even though the quality wouldn't be, the quality wasn't or wouldn't be that great. Um, yeah, it would still be much better than FSR 2 because we have, we have that. There are some games like, for example, Dead Island 2, where we have the FSR 2 framework and I can inject FSR 4 with OptiScaler even through the FSR 2 inputs and it still looks much better than FSR 2. So that would be dope if they could do that. And of course, I asked AMD to send the 9070 GRE, but sadly, they, they told me that this is for now, at least for now, it is only for the Chinese market and there's no way I can get my hands on one of those. Maybe if I can go and buy one through AliExpress or something like that, but it will take just a lot of time and a lot of money usually, uh, but I'll do my best. Still, it would be nice to get one to test, but maybe, maybe later, I don't really know. And well, guys, that's all for this video. Don't forget that in the end of the video, we do have the comparisons, the performance comparisons, side by side to see if the performance increased or not, especially in games that now support FSR 4. Thank you very much for watching, don't forget, Leave your comment in the comment section, let me know what you think about these drivers, if they work well for you or not really, if you're having issues, if you're having black screens, blue screens, green screens, gray screens. Just leave your comment in the comment section for us as a community to grow together and to improve drivers on the MD side as well. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Cheers. Let's go, contestant. Your climb to the top starts now.
Let's go, contestant. Your climb to the top starts now.